I kept hearing the sirens, but they never got closer. A victim waits for help after a frightening accident. I had to go run uh, with my skateboard to fetch the paramedics. Or when a witness to an emergency becomes a guide for responders. The problem may be, until just recently, almost none of the ambulances operating in the city had mapping capabilities. It's just common sense. We need GPS and we need them in every ambulance. During a committee hearing last year, the fire department had this surprising revelation for council member Elizabeth Crowley. In the event that they are sent outside their area or maybe to another borough, we provide them with maps so that they can right. look at those maps. They have maps. Uh, paper maps. Uh, yes. A lot of people would say, you're still using paper maps, why would that be? Paper maps are you good for a fallback. Paper maps are, are, are always available to us. They're inside the ambulance. But now EMS Chief James Booth tells CBS2 they're finally in the process of rolling out new mapping technology. What makes it so complex? What, what makes it complex is it's, it's an integrated system with our computer-assisted dispatch systems. There is no way for the information to be transposed improperly by putting it in a whole separate GPS system. EMT Christian Hansen demonstrates. We'll get an EMS call. It'll pop up on the screen. It's going to give a description of the job type. We hit um, our map button. Now, once that happens, it automatically routes us to the job. Just last July, there was a navigation issue for the ambulance dispatch for Dominique Galuzzi. I was pinned up against this crossbar. She gave her location and waited. Then they called her. So I told them again, giving them cross streets, the exact street I was on. More time went by. Oh, my phone rang again. It was the dispatchers again telling me that they couldn't find me. She says it took nearly 30 minutes for an ambulance to reach her. Wade Watson and his son Damon saw a man having a heart attack in 2014. 911 was called multiple times. Well, these guys not be able to find you on a major New York City attraction. Shocking. But now software installation has begun in FDNY ambulances with 150 scheduled to have the new technology citywide. We vet it, we test it, we pilot it, and we always make sure we get it right. The fire department can't afford to get an address wrong and to not get help to somebody who needs it. Another 100 FDNY ambulances will have the mobile mapping software installed by January, leaving just about 50 to rely on paper maps. Any new ambulances will be outfitted before they're added to the fleet. Dick Brennan, CBS2 News.